Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Lanky Woodsman. And I got something in the mail yesterday and I wanted to show you guys one of Schrade's 2017 new models. Um, this is the SCHA 16B. This is from the Boneyard series. It's the Lazy Bones with the Magic Assisted Opening and a liner lock. So, what they have, Lazy Bones, you can see the bone design. Other side, pocket clip. Down here we have a, it's on this side, a little safety right there. And the Magic Opening, um, Magic Assisted Opening, excuse me. Um, for me, I don't know what to consider assisted opening and automatic, but to me this feels pretty automatic. Um, you pull back on that little button right there and the thing launches forward. And it's not like there's a flipper that flips down to the other side or anything like that, but, you know, legally I don't know what what is considered automatic or assisted opening. But anyway, really smooth, easy to put back one-handed, comes right out. It's got a little bit of a recurve blade. Very cool to look at. I, uh, I'm not a huge fan of like the bone theme in, in you know everyday life, but this was uh, pretty cool for me and it was the only one that I had access to that had this blade with this action and shape. Um, very sharp, uh, shaving sharp. Um, so let me go ahead and go through some of the specs. Um, the blade is OS 8 high carbon stainless steel with a drop point design. Um, aluminum handle scales that they've carved the bone um, theme into. The blade overall is 3.15 inches. 4.36 inches is the handle. A total of op uh, open length of 7.52 inches. And it weighs in at 3, no, 0.37 pounds. So not not uh, very heavy at all, actually. It's nice. It's uh, got some jimping on the top here. I like that. And again, the safety, which whatever I could do without, but very easy uh, to operate one-handed. Very fun to play with. Obviously, I've messed with it for two days now, carried it. And uh, yeah, fun little knife. I like it a lot. Um, I brought out some cardboard here, some of the stuff that we might do on an everyday, everyday carry task. You know, back this out just a little bit so we can see. See what we can get through with this. Very sharp. Plugs right through, no problem. I've opened several things with it. Obviously the everyday carry type things. Got a little bit of wood here to mess with, I don't know why, but why not? Got nothing better to do. It's nice and freezing cold outside. Fights in pretty good. Obviously this isn't something I usually do with my folding knives, but why not? I actually do this better with a folding knife than I do my fixed blades, so that's embarrassing. Alright, well, maybe I'll take this out in the woods with me. <laughs> so, anyway, this is a knife that I did not see any other videos on except for one over at Survival, or, uh, yeah, Survival on Purpose, I believe. And I know he gets some stuff sent to him for free. It's not the case for me, but maybe someday. But anyway, this is another nice little product. I think I got this for about $40. Uh, actually, it was $38. $38. I know you can get it on Amazon. There were some people that had it on eBay. Um, yeah, it was like $38. Bucks. Not bad. Um, I will obviously do an update because I'm going to carry this for a while and see how it stands up to uh, everyday usage. 
There's no, uh, so far I've used it for several things like you just saw with the cardboard. There's no give up or down, left or right. And the uh, blade, pretty centered. It's a little bit to the one side, but, you know, I haven't seen very, very many that aren't. Um, overall, I think it's a really great knife. Feels good in the hand. The grip is good, obviously, with all of this texture. Um, the jimping here, it's, uh, I have large size hands, large size gloves, so this fits perfectly. The jimping falls right in the perfect spot. Obviously we saw that it's nice and sharp, does those tasks with ease. It was a little difficult to get sharp. Um, I know I'm not a professional, but I've done a lot of knives and this so far by far was the, the hardest I've had uh, getting it to be nice and razor sharp and slice through things with no, no catching at all. Uh, I ran it through the work sharp eventually uh, to kind of reprofile because um, I think maybe the blade, uh, the blade edge that it came with was a little bit off. But now that I got it, it works perfectly. I'm not exactly sure what this black coating is on the outside, but it's pretty strong. I've ran it through several things and it just has a couple of little scuff lines, but it didn't even go all the way through, so pretty tough. I could use a little bit of a deeper carry on the pocket clip, but not a huge issue. Um, but overall, I uh, think this is a very sturdy knife. It looks cool. Um, I really love the, the magic assisted open, and I love the recurve on this blade. Um, I just liked, this caught my eye because of the way it looked and the, the blade action on the way out. That's just cool to me. So I picked it up because why not, you know, can't have too many knives, right? Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I do also want to give you guys just a quick little update tomorrow. I hope it's tomorrow. I really hope it's tomorrow. I do have a little bit of a surprise, a little gift to myself. Um, I got another blade showing up. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do an unboxing and kind of, it's a, kind of like a, for me, a blade that I've been waiting on for a really long time and just never could afford and never really had a reason to afford. But with the way things are going right now, I felt like I could give myself that uh, treat. So anyway, as usual, if you guys like the video, go ahead, press like. Please share the video, comment in the video, and I will see you in the next one.